kids and curling. Here in Buffalo, up until recently, it was something they could do for fun. But it hasn't been a real option for kids as a serious sport until now. We're really excited. We've been talking about this for years, having youth curling. Corey Bauer runs the youth curling program at the Buffalo Curling Club. It was a challenge getting the volunteers and getting some training and getting, we had to get a grant to get the, the youth rocks that they can actually push because um, the adult rocks are 40 plus pounds and we have 30 pound kids trying to push these rocks and just getting stuck. Um, and so we finally, we got a couple grants and then the pandemic hit. Finally in the spring, um, we started, we brought a couple schools here. And they now have a youth program that meets on the weekends in the winter into spring. Youth curling as of right now meets every two weeks on a Saturday morning here at the Buffalo Curling Club. But if there's enough interest, we'll add Sundays at one as well. And maybe two Saturday sessions next year. Now the hope is that more kids get excited about it and sign up so that they can expand it to a possible youth league or family league. For the 20 plus kids in this first Buffalo Curling Club youth program, it's really starting to click. What do you like about curling, you guys? Uh, I like throwing the rocks. I like uh, when you like you slide down and then you throw it. If you had to describe to folks how to curl, how do you describe uh, it? I would des describe it as like you slide out and throw the rocker. You can turn it this way or that way. Is that the curling part when you yeah. turn it like that? Yeah. Do you like to sweep? Yes. Uh, mm, not really. <laughs> the best part about curling is just having a lot of fun. It looks so goofy, right? Really, the only reason I signed up is I was like, well, that looks really, that looks really silly. I want to try that. Um, and then once I started, I totally got hooked. Full disclosure, I tried curling a couple times, and I'm a huge fan. I couldn't wait to get my kids into this first group. There's Ashlyn. You can't miss her. She's got the sparkle helmet. You love it? Mm hmm What is it that you love about curling? Mm, I like that you get to like knock stuff down. <laughs> and it looks really goofy, like out there with these little brooms trying to move this rock along the ice. Um, but actually there's there's a lot of strategy to it. And so they call curling chess on ice because it's, it's a lot of strategy figuring out not just when to sweep and how to sweep, but also where you want your rock to be next to other rocks. And so it's a game that's really engaging for all levels. What I always tell people is it's like bowling, but when you miss a shot, you can yell at someone to fix it for you. The coaches here are awesome. They're so good with the kids. It's way different teaching adults because adults, I mean, some of them really want to learn the right way to do it, but a lot of them, they're like, oh, I can slide, I can throw it, leave me alone. And then they're like, they have worse form than the eight-year-olds because they're just out there, you know, goofing around or something. All the coaches that work with the kids, it's so cute because they love it as much as the kids do. They're all volunteer, avid curlers themselves. The whole club 100% volunteers. We have no paid staff members. Um, so we have, yes, yeah, former teachers and um, people who are coming out on their own time after work or sometimes during work. Um, and on the weekends and, and yeah, so we have probably 50 people who are putting in multiple hours a week here at the club getting the ice ready and um, you know, all of like everything you see here was built by volunteers. They take care of the ice. We get the rocks all sanded down and ready to go. Um, tell people how to curl, you know, get everything organized, get everyone signed up, etc. Darrell Skelton is a coach who admits he's grateful youth curling is available again in Buffalo. I started curling uh, when I was 12 years old at the old Buffalo Curling Club in Williamsville and we had uh, quite a large program with probably over a hundred kids uh, curling a couple of afternoons a week. Darrell ended up competing in curling. Well I had the great opportunity of uh, curling in the United States Men's National Championships in 1991 with a group of guys from here in western New York. One could say curling is in his blood. 
uh, my mother curled in the U.S. Women's National Championships three times. And now his granddaughters had the opportunity to follow in their footsteps. It's really cool to have my grandpa be like a professional curler. It almost brings tears to my eyes uh, thinking about my grandchildren out here curling and uh, continuing uh, a family legacy really. This is uh, like a, almost a dream come true to uh, see a new generation of curlers here in Buffalo, New York. I'd love to see uh, some universities or some of the city schools, uh, you know, put it in as part of their uh, sports programs. So there are three places that you can curl in Buffalo. There's only one that's indoors and that's actually made to professional curling standards, and there's only one that's a nonprofit. Um, and so by curling at the Buffalo Curling Club, you are supporting a 300 member club that is 100% volunteers, um, that is a certified 501c3. We accept all donations willingly, but we, we would rather have your time than your money in some ways that we want you to come out and experience curling because I think once you do, you'll see why we love it so much. The area you see behind me is concrete right now, but the hope is that when membership increases and interest in curling goes up, that they will one day be able to put in two more sheets of ice. I mean, obviously we need more money in order to build more sheets of ice and everything, but I think the, the main thing we need is just more members, more people coming out. It's astounding how fast the club has grown, that it started in 2014 with a few dozen people curling outdoors once a week, and now we have 26,000 square feet that we own 24 seven, and 300 members in the club out here curling in, I think we have 12 different leagues now. We have, I think we have six learn to curls on the website and that's where you come here and for two hours you'll get intense instruction and you'll learn the basics of how to slide out, how to throw the rock, how scoring works, um, how to, you know, how to not mess up the ice, etc. It's only $30. Anybody can come out and do this and there are people curling all over the world who are you know, age four to age 94. Four years from now when the Olympics come on again, instead of being looking at the TV and being like, who are those people in the goofy pants sweeping on the ice? You'll be the, you'll be the one telling your friends like, oh, that's not as goofy as it looks. You come out and try it with me and, and you'll see.